Dramatic eyewitness video of a construction worker straddling a crane support as he tries to reach the safety of the building following the collapse of the very top of the crane at a downtown Kelowna construction site at Bernard Avenue and St. Paul Street. The collapse of the crane has left multiple people dead. RCMP now say, after saying earlier today, that only one person was killed. BC Coroner Service and WorkSafe BC have been notified and are conducting their own concurrent investigations into the incident. A local state of emergency has been declared for the city of Kelowna following the deadly crane collapse that you can see behind me. Now the state of emergency also includes an evacuation order for homes and businesses in the immediate vicinity. The order indicates the site in the immediate area is unsafe and unstable. Residents and visitors are advised to stay out of the area. The mission group has confirmed the crane that collapsed Monday morning in downtown Kelowna was in the process of being dismantled and that there was a catastrophic failure at about 10.45 a.m. when the crane fell during the dismantling process. As of Monday evening, it remains unclear how many others are injured or killed. It goes without saying that today was arguably one of the most difficult days uh, for everyone involved. Um, at roughly uh, 11 o'clock this morning, or just before 11 a.m., uh, crews at our Brooklyn site in downtown Kelowna were dismantling our tower crane, and there was uh, a terrible accident that resulted in the collapse of the, uh, of the boom section of the crane, which uh, fell all the way to the ground. Um, the RCMP have confirmed that there were uh, multiple lives lost, uh, and uh, that's, that is a tragedy that we should, we should keep in mind. Uh, today was a day where some people lost their lives on our construction site. Residents near the downtown crane collapse can go to the Salvation Army on Sutherland if they need support. RCMP have this area blocked off and will continue to block it off until their investigation is complete. They are also indicating that no drones are allowed to fly in the area. Rob Gibson, Castanet News. Courts as 